Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It's time for a new installment in the luxury Will I Buy It series, but here on my channel we add a little French twist. So for collections we do want, we say oui, and for collections we don't want, we say non merci. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. Thank you for joining me at the mall today on this very rainy, gloomy day. Uh, thank you to those of you who have an Apple Watch. We're gonna go ahead and do some laps around the mall. We're gonna get our steps in. We're gonna see what's new, what's coming out on the horizon makeup-wise because there are some goodies here that I'm very excited to talk about. And the first collection here is new and I'm sort of cheating because I actually have it, but I just really want to talk to you about it. This is the Hermes Summer 2023 collection. There's a new release for Hermes for the summer, which is very exciting. And this, at first, I was just sort of appreciating for its beauty, but I did go ahead and bite the bullet. So for this new release, there are three new silky blush powders available. I am, in fact, wearing one of the new blushes today and this is a new formula for the Hermes Silky Blush Collection. These ones here have a satin finish. They're not totally matte like the previous ones and from what I understand these three new shades are permanent. So the three shades available are 35 Rose de Riz, 47 Rose Ombre and 58 Rose Cuivre. I picked up 58 Rose Cuivre. That's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today because when I went to see these in person at Holt Renfrew, they did not have the testers. They had the product to sell, but no testers yet. And so I sort of had to like pick up the blushes and sort of judge what they looked like. And the top two blushes to me looked like the number 19 Rose Apricot, which is what I already own. And I wanted something different than what I have. So I went with this rose cuivre, which translates into like a coppery rose. And I think that's, I think it's correct. It does have a little, I'm wearing highlighter over top, but it does have a beautiful, healthy lip from within glow. Very, very pretty. So there are three options to choose from. Unfortunately, I don't have swatches of the other two. Um, but yeah, I, I'm hoping that they're nice and not too much like the rose apricot, but if you don't have rose apricot, maybe those two would be more tempting to you. And then there's also a new rosy lip enhancer, number 27, Rose Confetti. This to me screams popsicle pink, like a pink popsicle in the summer. So pretty, so cute. Is it necessary? Of course not, but I swear when I go in person, like shopping in person, I'm more likely to overdo it like I, I, something about shopping online i have more time to like build up my cart and then just delete everything but in person i can't, I, I wanted to get this lip enhancer but they didn't have it yet so i couldn't get it but if they had had it i would have purchased it do i need that of course not but i wanted it it looks so cute so pink so girly so summer so for me the hermes summer collection is a big tremendous we of course uh not everything but like I said, this should be all permanent, the blushes especially, it should all be permanent. So I will just keep enjoying my Hermes beauty. The blushes are super duper long wearing. Like these blushes, once you apply them, they don't fade. Like it can be 10 hours later, your cheek still looks just as blushed up. So they're super long wearing. So it's a wee for me. And so I'm going to enjoy these, the new blush that I have, and then maybe sometime down the line I'll get another one. So yeah, huge wee. Next up, we have something new here from Dior Beauty. This is the Rouge Dior New Limited Edition Collection, and we have a new series of red lipsticks in metallic, satin, and velvet finish. Let's just take a moment to appreciate this beautiful photo. Like, how gorgeous. Just the close-ups. I love the extra detailing on the lipsticks, you know, the, the band, the star, the texture, it, the velvet a lipstick looks so cool. Like it looks like actual velvet or some sort of fabric. The metallic one looks so sparkly and 
it just looks so pretty. So these are new and limited edition. I'm not sure what this collection is exactly other than just new lipsticks here. And it appears as though these are all red. We do see in this photo here, 840, 776, and 720. 720 is a repeat. This is 720 icon or icon. This is a repeat consistent color. So I'm wondering if some of these shades have been here before many times, but with new packaging, new bedazzling, all that jazz. I think the middle shade looks the most intriguing for me. It sort of seems to have that sort of raspberry berry pinkiness, especially compared to the other two that sort of have a bit more warmth and orange to them. I mean, it's a, um, a season for every color, but I'm more leaning towards that center shade. But that being said, I have a couple metallic lipsticks I don't really wear them. I like a gloss, I like satin, I like a velvet, I like a matte, but sometimes metallic, I don't know, it's just not really for me, but if it's for you, I think you're going to enjoy yourself because there are going to be, okay, so three metallic shades, three satin shades, and then three velvet shades, and I think it's not the exact same colors, some of the number 999, that's the classic red for Dior. It's like the house brand red. That one is going to be repeated throughout the different uh, formulas and finishes. Is this for me? I can appreciate its beauty and the extraness, but I think it's a non merci. It's just an easy pass for me right now at the moment. I just picked up the Dior summer release. I love it. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes and my nails. Love it. These reds, they're not really calling me, no merci. And honestly, it's fine because it's actually for the best for my wallet that not everything is for me, you know? Sometimes you can just appreciate the beauty and the quality and the craftsmanship and just say, you know what, baby, you enjoy it. I'm not gonna sell it out, so you enjoy yourself. Moving on to some Guerlain. Now, this is very interesting. It's a, a totally new line for Guerlain Beauty. This is going to be a hair care line for Guerlain. Now they do have some hair products already, like a hair, like a scalp serum, but this is going to be a complete hair care line from Guerlain. Now you may be wondering or thinking that this is a bit strange because when we have brands like Tom Ford and Chanel and NARS, they don't have hair products. That is true, they may have like a hair mist, but Guerlain, although it may look similar to everyone else, they're actually quite different because Guerlain is first and foremost a perfume house. That is their history. I've done a whole episode on beauty history on Guerlain. If you have not seen it, you should go watch it. It is a perfume house followed closely by skincare and then makeup. That is the order of like how they do things. And so the fact that they're coming out with uh, hair products is different, but it doesn't surprise me because they are different in how they do things. And so this is the Guerlain Abeille Royale scalp and hairline. It's going to feature three products, a shampoo, a conditioner, and a hair mask. And yes, they, they all already have a hair oil serum or a scalp serum, but this is going to be a complete line. I don't have a date for the release yet, but it's meant to be summer 2023, and it's barely just May right now, so we have some time. The Dynamic Black Bee Repair technology combined with honey derived from the Guerlain Laboratories activates the interaction between scalp and hair, making them strong and healthy. Interesting. And the Abeille Royale, we've seen this across the board. For Guerlain, this is not new. This is sort of like their, uh, hmm, what do you call it? Like their namesake? Like they put uh, royal jelly in a lot of their skincare, so it makes sense that it would be in their hair care as well. I'm looking at the hair mask here. This is the Double R Radiance and Repair Mask. Don't they have a serum that's Double R as well? It's like a pump, it's like two serums in one. So this is Radiance and Repair, Radiance Restoring Intense Replenishing. Interesting. I'm wondering which hair texture this is for because I have curly hair or curly wavy. It's fine, but I have a lot of it and so I can't do like super intense, heavy, super moisturizing hair masks. I'm more into hydrating because they don't weigh down my curls as much. And then we have the shampoo. It's revitalizing and fortifying care shampoo. 
and the conditioner is repairing and replumping care. Okay, so yeah, I don't know if it's for fine hair, coarse hair, etc. I don't, I, maybe the mask, I would try samples. I would try samples. It's just that I'm very, like I have curly wavy hair. My hair is extremely finicky. I can't exactly just throw anything on my hair. It kind of goes insane. I mean, it goes insane on the best of days. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, I like the idea. I hope it goes well. I know that a lot of people enjoy their skincare. I have tried their skincare. It is nice. I love their oil, youth watery oil serum. I've tried some other products that are nice. So this is a maybe, a peut-être. I'm not you know, foaming at the mouth to get it right away. Um, this is going to be permanent. It's a new addition. So I'm not feeling that rush, that palpitation to go out and try it right away. Uh, I hope it works. I hope it's good. Um, yeah, I just don't know who, like what skin type or if it's for people who have colored hair or dry hair, you know what I mean? So it's a pathetic, it's a maybe. I'll wait and see what other people have to say before I get it. Speaking of Guerlain, they have a new compact here. So apparently this is maybe possibly available in Europe right away, but I'm gonna go ahead and provide as many links as I can. But this is the Sunkissed Natural Healthy Glow Powder in Terracotta Flower Blossom for summer 2023. I don't know why it's coming out now because they came out with their blue jean eyeshadow palette a few months ago, but anyway, a little bit staggered. Let's take a moment to just appreciate the beauty and the extraness. This, yeah, this is clearly summer because it has the little bumblebees in the little garden and the items I picked up from like the summer collection, like the eyeshadow and the lipstick, like they also have these little bumblebees and jean denim packaging on the eyeshadow as well. And so we have little bumblebees and gardens on this compact here. Ugh. So this is their best shit. So this is their best-selling shade number three, adorned with floral motifs with a delicate blush, designed by artist and painter Laura Gulshani, whose creative world celebrates the dazzling spectacle of nature. The original decoration showcases a golden bee, Guerlain's emblem, foraging summer flowers that unfold their huge colorful, colorful petals and creating a blush of, or creating a light blushing glow. Okay, so this is just going to be a multi-purpose cheek product. It's bronzer, it has blush, it has like coral and then pink blush and then also a little bit of a gold highlighter. So it's going to be a multitasking, beautiful summer glow blush. You can probably use it on your eyes as well. It's too pretty. Like this is the type of compact you buy and you're just like, stare at it until you want to use it. I would take so many photos and videos before even thinking of touching this. You know, it's just so pretty. And I, when I get these types of uh, products, I always swirl my brush in to get like all the colors. So mine would look wretched in a matter of weeks or months, but yeah, pretty. I, I hope that everything is not an overlay, but just goes down deep into the compact. You know, sometimes they have a little bit of an overlay, which is very, um, disappointing mm. but i don't know like it's very very gorgeous do i need this no i think if this had come out at the same time as the guerlain summer like eyeshadow maybe i would have got i don't know i don't know no 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 merci it's gorgeous it's pretty i'm sure i would love it but i'm trying to show some restraint and self-control i have my new hermes bronzer that i love i have a new blush like no mm. get this away from me Get it away from me. Help me from myself, please. Now, we have something new here from Gucci Beauty. Gucci Beauty, they're coming out with this like left, right, and center every year. Every like half a year, they're coming out with a new complexion product. And I really think that this is a new cosmetic brand that's holding up really nicely. So this is the Illuminateur de Beauté. It's a liquid highlighter from Gucci. A liquid face highlighter. These illuminating multi-use drops create a natural, radiant, healthy looking glow for a result that lasts all day, blended with ultra fine luminous pearls and black rose extract. This glowing formula cares for the skin as it provides all day soothing hydration. Interesting, so they're infusing some skincare in there as well. So if we look at the bottle here, it looks like a very narrow, 
product. Like it doesn't look like it's a giant highlighter. I wonder if it's the same size as like a mascara maybe or if it's wider, but it just looks very narrow. So a lot of them look really short. So I think it's only one shade. It looks like it's just this sort of liquid gold here in the tube. It looks very pretty. I love the packaging for Gucci. It gives me sort of like an Art Deco retro 60s vibe. Super pretty. I love that gold band around the top here. I love that the pipette thing, uh, the squeezy part, looks like it matches the liquid highlighter. That level of detail, that just extra uh, level of attention, I think is so extra and wonderful and that is exactly what we require in luxury beauty and this looks like it's made out of glass i'm guessing the tube outside here is glass we have some photos here of models of course the models look absolutely stunning and radiant and have the most perfect skin with no imperfections or texture whatsoever but it looks like it's going to be usable for many different skin tones so interesting um like I've said before, I'm not really a highlighter girl, but I do prefer liquid highlighters in a way, which is interesting because I often use them as a primer. So I'll put them on underneath and then I'll go into my makeup and everything. But that being said, I don't know. I think it's a non merci for me. Like I can look at this and recognize it's pretty, but it's not for me. It's really, I don't know. It's, it's not something that is tempting me, like the, the Guerlain Terracotta Bumblebee bronzer looked really pretty and that was tempting for me. This one here, no, it's not that tempting. No merci. I appreciate it, you can enjoy it, but for me it's a no merci. Alright, moving on to Natasha Denona. This is the new High Glam Concealer. Is this the first time she's coming out with a concealer? Let me know because I know she's done tons of cheek, like face palettes, eyeshadows, lip products. Is this her first concealer? In, so this is inspired by the High Gen Hybrid Concealer. Maybe it's not new then. Contains high-tech active ingredients that work instantly over time to brighten dark circles, reduce puffiness, and diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So there must be some sort of skincare component in here if it's claiming it's going to correct those things over time. It's a long-lasting concealer with a naturally luminous matte finish and medium coverage. It contains biomimetic bio pigments and microspheres that perfect skin texture for a flawless airbrush result with a natural weightless look in 56 shades. That's great. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. There's a lot going on. Okay, so it's going to be, uh, what did it say? A naturally luminous matte finish with medium coverage okay i'm i find that oftentimes concealers that offer more coverage dry down faster i don't know what it is about that but oftentimes that's the case so just blend um quickly if that's still the case here and 56 shades that seems like a really great shade range for concealer I am currently not in the market at all for a new concealer. I have my new Givenchy concealer that I really like that I'm wearing today. I have my Chanel Sublimage concealer that I've been loving completely. So this is really not for me. I'm glad if it's for you. I love it for you, but for me, it's a non merci. I'm just really not tempted by this at all. Like I've really... I haven't been tempted by much of Natasha Denona, to be honest. I haven't tried that much. And the few times that I have tried stuff, it was so bad that I returned it. So I've just been like, mm. but I do like, I have like her mini soft glam or something that I do enjoy. So I don't know. It's just like, it's not my brand. So we all have our brand that we're like, Oof, if they come out with something new, I'm going to try it. This is just not for me, which again is perfectly fine because it saves my wallet. So for me, it's a non merci, but for you, Natasha, Denona, Natasha Denona heads, like, you know, it's like you're a super fan. Please enjoy these new concealers and let us know in the comments what you think. Moving on to something new here from Miss Lisa Eldridge. Yes, speaking of like new cosmetics companies that are just coming out with new stuff and doing really well, we have skincare from Lisa Eldridge. I didn't realize she was going to do skincare. It's always interesting to guess what she's coming out with next. So yeah, the new skincare launch here. So we have the Skin Enhancing Treatment Cleanser, a balm cleanser formulated with a unique blend of active ingredients to deeply clean, soothe, restore, and hydrate the skin. 
A three-in-one product performs brilliantly as a cleanser, face mask, and a facial massage treatment. The hybrid formula transforms from a balm to oil to milk, seamlessly removing even the longest wearing makeup and waterproof SPF. Listen, one thing about me, I love a double cleanse. So I love that she's coming out with this uh, skin treatment, cleanser, makeup remover, because if you're going to wear makeup, you need to uh, cleanse it properly. So I love that for her. And this is 49, I'm guessing 49 USD. And then we have the Skin and Makeup Enhancing Mist, 42 USD. Ultra fine makeup mist infused with skin loving ingredients created to be used as part of your skincare routine and to set, set makeup and hydrate. Interesting, it kind of makes me think of the Violette FR Boom Boom Milk Spray, which I really like. It's like, well, the Violette FR is skincare. It's three-in-one for toner, serum, and cream moisturizer. This here is skincare, but also makeup setting spray, which is different. I hope that the nozzle is fine because I like the Violette FR Boom Boom Mist, but spraying it like this, it doesn't really offer a fine mist. So I hope that this is a fine mist, especially if you're spraying it over top of makeup. Because when you're using a setting spray, the last thing you want is just like a big chunk over here and nothing over there. Like you need it to be a beautiful mist. So I hope that's the case here. And then we have the luxuriously gentle cleansing and exfoliating cloths. Two dual-sided cloths, the soft microfiber side is perfect for a full face cleanse and the muslin side is for a deep cleanse and gentle exfoliation. Listen, these look like products that Lisa Eldridge herself would be using, so I appreciate that. And the price for the exfoliating cloths are $12. That's very reasonable. So I think this is very interesting. Uh, I like the cloth idea because sometimes I do take like a, a face cloth just to, you know, get a little bit of exfoliation sometimes instead of a product. I love this. I think this is great. I think I'm the most tempted by the cleanser and then the cloths. The spray, I don't know. But yeah, I think this is a peut-être. It's a maybe. It's a we, oui, but not right now. Like it's a yes. I, I want to try these, but just not like this instant. And I'm wondering if she's going to do samples like on her website because does she do samples yet? I would love that if she would did, if she would do samples when you buy products. If you could just get like a little sample of a couple of these products, especially the cleanser. I would just want to see like, would it take off today's makeup? I'm wearing a lot today. Would it suffice? I would hope so. So yeah, I think this is a wee. It's just a, at a later date for Miss Lisa Eldridge. Very happy with this. And then we have a last item or last collection here from NARS. And this is the new Afterglow Liquid Blush, a lightweight skincare infused liquid blush, create a lasting natural looking glow with a buildable transfer resistant formula that layers and blends without streaking. These are 32 USD each, and there are six shades to choose from. This will be available May 16th at Sephora, so very, very soon, sooner than we can imagine. Time goes by so fast. I like that it's long lasting, it's buildable and natural at the same time. And I have to show you this shade here, the purple one, the Wanderlust, that sort of violet shade. This, if you have olive skin tone, is going to look so gorgeous. It's going to be that beautiful pink on you. If you have olive skin tone, get the Wanderlust. It's going to be so pretty. We clearly have some repeats here. Orgasm and Dolce Vita are shades or, or names that I, I have seen um, repeated a lot with NARS. I haven't tried this, but correct me if I'm wrong, haven't they come out with a liquid blush already from NARS? I know that this is new. This is the Afterglow liquid blush. I love the Afterglow lip gloss series, Chelsea Girls. It's one of my favorite nude glosses. So this must just be new, but I feel like I've seen liquid blushes from them before. Anyway, I like that it's just six blushes. It's not like too many. It's just, it's. I mean, they have quite a few to choose from. So if you want like brazen for that orange or behave would be like, maybe like your cheek, but better. But anyway, Beautiful colors, looks really cute. I like that it looks natural and buildable at the same time. I think it's a wee for me. I'm not gonna get all of them at the same time, of course, but maybe once it goes to Sephora, I can go ahead and do a little swatch. I imagine that these would stain. Like I feel like once you blend, these are going to be long lasting, you know? It looks like a stain. Maybe you could use it on your lips as well. 
very exciting so yeah that is about it we've done our laps around the mall we've gone through all the different floors at the eaton center we've gone to holt renfrew mcgill we went everywhere thank you for joining me today to get my steps in how many steps did we get in you with the apple watch let us know in the comments let me know in the comments what collections are calling your name and pulling on your wallet and heartstrings let me know if you're new to my channel i talk a lot about new luxury beauty i talk about these will i buy it videos once every week every couple of weeks and i let you know or be in the know about new luxury beauty releases so make sure you're subscribed and that's all i have for you guys for today thank you so much for stopping bye hope you have a beautiful day and i'll see you next time bye